Welcome back, friends. It's time for a rave review. Up first, guess what's back? The Crown, season six. This is the final season of The Crown. The Crown, season six, part one, drops tomorrow on Netflix. Now, this final season is set in the late 90s, and it tackles the death of Princess Diana and the aftermath and the grieving of the royal family and really the grieving of the world. Um, I'll admit, I've already watched it. I got my screener, and I kind of took my time because I'll, I'll admit, it's hard to watch. Now, a lot of people say, you remember where you were when you heard JFK was assassinated. You remember where you were when Elvis died. I remember where I was when I heard Princess Diana died. So to me, we're in real time. I loved the show at the beginning, too, because it's historical. And it was the sets, and, you know, I was learning about Queen Elizabeth. Now it's to real life, like my lifetime, so that I remember this. So it's very hard to watch. But I will tell you this. One of the reasons it's hard to watch is because the actress who plays Diana, Elizabeth Debicki, is so spot on with her look, the voice, the mannerisms, everything she does, you feel like you're watching Diana. It's like she's alive again. I'm not, even, I'm not overselling this when I say I want her to win every award because it is so spot on. Of all the characters, of all the seasons, the one that impresses me the most is her, her Diana portrayal. Unbelievably amazing. Uh, so let's take a look at the trailer for the season six part one. I don't really understand how I ended up here. Dashing around. And losing sight of myself in the process. You know, I think that's been the story of my whole life. I'm afraid, Your Majesty, interest in the princess's private life is unlikely to die down anytime soon. The press are on our tails constantly. All one wants is for that girl to find peace. Mommy, you okay? I'm okay. It's just... It has all been a bit mad recently. This is going to be the biggest thing that any of us has ever seen. By the way, her sitting on that on that yacht, that's an iconic shot. That's, that really did happen. I remember seeing that shot of the press showing her sitting there dangling her feet. The reenactments are insane. It makes me want to cry a little bit, though. It makes me sad just because you feel bad for William and uh, Harry because they lost their mother and it was so public. And it's just, it's hard to watch because you know what's going to happen and you wish you could stop her. And it's so powerful and it's like these are real people. And again, it's fictional. I understand you don't know what's happened. And what's funny is... When they made this season six, at the time, Queen Elizabeth was still alive. So they did not know that Charles would be king when this aired because Charles gets a really good edit. They, the producers of the show, either love him or they want you to love him because I don't know what happened behind closed doors, but he comes across great. If you were on the fence about King Charles and Charles, the Prince of Wales, former Prince of Wales, he gets a good edit. But by the way, season six, four episodes, the four episode part one drops tomorrow on Netflix. I highly recommend it, but I would watch it in doses just because it's, it's a little sad. Okay, up next on a lighter note, let's get light, guys. Julia, Julia, Julia Child. Uh, Julia season two drops on Max tomorrow as well. This is a story of famed TV cook Julia Child, and it's just a delightful show. Now, Season one tackled her rising to fame, starting her iconic TV show. So now season two tackles, okay, she's got the show. And now, how do you make money off that show? Uh, I.e. advertising, corporate America, doing things she may not want to do, but she has to because they're paying. I'm just saying, it's, it's really good look into how her show became so successful. Sarah Lancashire and David Hyde Pierce are fantastic. It's just wonderful, easy watching, and yes, it is a Google show because it's based on real events, so I'm always Googling if that really happened, if it's accurate, if Julia Child did this, that, and so far, pretty good. So I love the show. I love this actress. Now, does she talk exactly like her? No. Does she look exactly like her? No. But do you believe it? Yeah. Take a look at the trailer. We did well today, Simcra and I. It would be a feast. Ooh. It'll be a night to remember. Well, that's disappointing. More blub than fish, huh? Lucy, we're home! <laughs> Wrong show. 
That French chef of yours is really something. Pretty extraordinary. My board was content with nothing when all we had was nothing. But now that we have something, we want more something and less nothing. We need new content yesterday. Alice, I am disappointed. I want to take on subjects of great magnitude. Vietnam, we inform. You decide. While you are working on the details of this one show, I'm tasked with saving the entire station. Hunter wants to do something called product placement. How much do you stand to make from all this? Quite a lot. May not be the best episode for that knife, though. Go ahead and take care of It's so good and so cute. And I love Julia Child. I remember watching her, I think, on PBS when I was a child and just being like, oh, we're going to make beef bourguignon. Child, when I was a Julia child, actually. Uh, it's just a fun show. It's an easy watch. You'll love it. Three episodes drop tomorrow, then every Thursday through December 21st, season two. All right, then, just touching lightly, guess what comes out tonight? Tonight on Netflix, the Selling Sunset season seven reunion. The whole gang from the Oppenheim group are back to hash out this season's drama. No matter how you feel about the drama, be it real or be it fake, but it is a reality show, I'll just tell you that. Uh, they're back. Everybody showed up this time. Take a look at the trailer. Welcome to Selling Sunset, The Reunion. Pray for us, please. <laughs> looks like a slap in the face. On well, my it's side of the up. story is very different. This is my real life. Yeah. Tomorrow, we're not going to just be cool. Her implying that I'm trying to start a battle. Do not it's never for me. You never. started the fire, and now we're in it. So let's go. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Krisha was just a topic on camera. Ooh. Are you still in love with Krisha? Oh! Ring the bell. I have a tiny one. Yay! By the way, yeah, do I think I should have hosted the reunions? Yes, I do. I've met them all. Well, not the new girls. All the original cast members I've interviewed, I've talked to, I've met in person. Love them. But here's what I want to say to Chriselle, because I love Chriselle. And her edit this season was a little bit more harsh than seasons past, and she's the star of the show. I just want to tell us, Chriselle, do not blame the ladies, blame your producers. I'm telling you, I know from inside sources, inside sources of the show, that the producers are prompting the ladies for this drama. Not you, Chriselle, because they know better, they know you won't do it. But your beef with Nicole, Nicole was put up by the producers. Nicole has no beef, with, it's for the show. So that's why I don't like it when you take it personally, Chriselle, because these women, Nicole doesn't hate you. She's not mad at you. It's for the show. The producers are doing it, especially with Brie. Now, remember, Brie has a child with Nick Cannon, and Nick Cannon and the child are brought up constantly on the show, and it's brought up for drama purpose. You can't just have a, a nice, easy show. Um, anyway, anyway. Okay, we don't have time for the Matt Reif comedy special. I'll briefly talk about it. Matt Reif, TikTok superstar. He became hugely famous over the last few years. Even made a stop at the Blue Room Comedy Club. He's huge. He has a Netflix special coming out today called uh, Natural Selection. I can't wait to watch it because I've only seen clips of him on TikTok. Now you get to watch a whole new show and a brand new Masked Singer tonight, Trolls Night, Boy Band Night on Masked Singer, and the celebrity will be unmasked. We'll be back. <laughs> 